Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. And leave a like if you like and uh, please subscribe. It does help my channel out a lot. Well, you're not going to believe what Visor is up to now unless maybe you've already seen it or read it. Now they're going after the children. Yep. They're creating comic books. Mm-hmm. Pharmaceutical giant Pfizer has now teamed up with Marvel Comics to release the Everyday Heroes publication encouraging readers to get its COVID-19 booster. The digital comic collaboration was announced last week by Pfizer, which said in a statement that the custom production spotlights the Avengers. Superhero team is in a fight to protect their community. What better way to get to children than to come up with a comic book so they can bug the parents to get that jab. I just, oh boy. What they will do. Pfizer tweeted that, you, that when Ultron, who is the villain portraying the coronavirus, keeps coming back and wrecking havoc, People can protect themselves by staying up to date with COVID-19 vaccines. And the richer they get, and the sicker and maybe you'll die, you'll get. The rollout for the newest jab has been slow. Some surveys show that two-thirds of U.S. adults have no intention of getting the updated booster. Wow. Pfizer ran a paid vaccine promotion that tells children to go to a website to view a Marvel comic book that advertises their vaccines. This shocking advertisement targeted minors should be illegal. And I agree. The story in the digital comic revolves around a grandfather waiting for his booster shot at a medical facility that is attacked by the villain, Ultron. The robot comes back different and stronger each time as the newest strains of COVID. Captain America stands up to Ultron, but it's nearly defeated because Iron Man, represented by the latest Pfizer booster shot, shows up to save the day with a cannon that blasts Ultron up into the air. Oh, there's a bombing. Yeah, well, we've been told all about being bombed, and getting the boosters and getting the COVID and making everybody rich. Most most people, maybe not most, but mo a half of them, whatever, got sicker than they were before they got the shot. And most of them that had heart trouble, diabetes, or stuff like that, you know, and already illness in their body, and they shoot that poison in their body, they, they died. They lost their lives. Oh no, come and get the shot. We want you to. Yeah, well, kiss my you-know-what. In closing, the grateful grandfather explained that even the Avengers need to keep adapting and changing, like updated vaccines, to be able to fight off Ultron. Each of the Avengers, by the way, miners want to fight their shots against COVID-19. One critic, former University of East, Angelia, Microbiologist Dr. David Livermore described his reaction to the team up as deeply saddened. Really, mine too. He noted that the entire stunt appeared aimed at children who are at virtually zero risk of developing severe COVID. See what I mean? Please don't fall for this crap. Oh my God, they made so much money. Even off of the people that died that they created this vaccine that killed them. Please don't fall for this crap. Rather, he explained propaganda strips aimed at the very young are ethically biased in the extreme. Dubious in the extreme. Ethically dubious in the extreme. Dr. Livermore added that this type of publicity targets those who do not have sufficient knowledge of complex immunology and vaccinology, which makes an informed decision. 
It is disturbing to see the results of a partnership between corporate and indirect government propaganda aimed at very young, especially concerning personal medical decisions. Pfizer should stick to medicine and Marvel is best suited for fantasy. Amen. Well, you know, I read uh, the other day and put it in a video where this uh, group, and I haven't had a chance to look more into it, and I forgot the name of the group they had, but they are going to take over all of us. They're going to run every single one of our lives. And like I said, you have to have a paper to carry with you that shows you had all these shots and all these boosters because if you don't you can't get in a store you can't get in a restaurant probably can't even get in to go to a public restroom so you might just well stay home and whatever and pretty soon they'll say well people if you don't get the vaccination people can't bring you groceries to your home either and if you don't be vaccinated you can't get the emergency room either to the hospital unless you show a paper so if you're having a heart attack or just your last breath maybe if you ain't got a vaccination paper you ain't gonna get in so you might just well lay down on the sidewalk and go to sleep I just can't believe that people our age are living through such stupidity on most part of this and boy when that COVID hit us them money grabbers they saw their chance didn't they each and every damn one of them boy this gonna make us some money let's get some juice out there and shoot up these people mm. let me go on folks I'm getting upset now Let's go on. Where should I go now? Well, let's try this one here. I'm pretty well lined up again, folks, so it'll be a night of videos. And let's see. Trump concerns agents were planting evidence in the raid. Well, now I'm just going to say a little piece here. I can't blame him because... They didn't let no cams in, and they're supposed to be camped when they're doing a legal search. They are to be on cam, on film. They weren't allowed. So what do you think? Leave me a message. Leave me a comment. I appreciate it. Former President Donald Trump has raised concerns that the FBI agents that raided his private home at Mar-a-Lago on Monday may have been planning group type of evidence. Now this has been, what, last month that this happened. I can't even remember the date, really. I'm a little late with this article, but still, it's important. In a statement Wednesday morning on his social media platform, Truth Social, the former president, pointed out that the agents who conducted the raid strongly insisted on doing so without any witnesses to see what they were doing. Now that's very suspicious in my book. The FBI and others from the federal government would not let anyone, including my lawyers, be anywhere near the areas that were rummaged and otherwise looked at during the raid on Mar-a-Lago, Trump wrote. Everyone was asked to leave the premises. They wanted to be left alone, without any witnesses, to see what they were doing, taking, or hopefully not planting, why did they strongly insist on having nobody watching them? No cams. Everybody out, he asked. Obama and Clinton have never ra been raided, despite big disputes, Trump added. Well, at that time, Biden wasn't president either, Donald. You got uh, Biden stabbing you in the back every which way, but how to turn the blade. Sorry to say that, but it's the truth. The FBI actions are unprecedented. Is wait a minute now, unprecedented, unprecedented, 
as there has been never been a raid on a home of a former president in the 114-year history of the FBI prior to raid on Trump's Palm Beach, Florida house. Not even on the home of former President Barack Obama, whose Trump has alleged was part of spying on his 2016 presidential campaign. Yeah, now what about these other presidents? What about Clinton and Monica Sulewinski? You know, what about they, <laughs> Barack Obama? You know, well, Biden wasn't president then. That solved the question, didn't it? Conservatives across the country are condemning the Biden administration for the publicization and weaponization of federal agencies to target their opponents. Donald Trump Jr., the son of the former president, was one of many who spoke out about the implications of the FBI's actions following the raid. Former NYPD Commissioner Bernie Couric, who supports Trump, Carrick, who supports Trump, revealed on Tuesday that the FBI's raid had definitely required the use of body cameras. Couric went on to the issue to call for the House Jur Judiciary Committee, ranking member Rep Representative Jim Jordan, Republican of Ohio, to subpoena the footage from the raid on the former president's home. At Jim underscore Jordan dot 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 three dots dot 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 the FBI and the USAG guidelines requires all raids to be captured on body cams. At ju Judiciary GOP needs to secure those ASAP he tweeted. You know, and look what Biden's done to us and nothing is being done to Biden. Why don't you go raid his damn basement, FBI? That's where he spends most of his time. He ain't on cam. This just irks me. Let me know if it irks you. I mean, for heaven's sakes. And so Trump had some documents. Well, if he did wrong, he will pay the price, okay? But how did Biden know this? Who told Biden? Now somebody stabbed Trump in the back there again too. Because somebody in that house had to know about those documents because nobody else raised a question about them. Other presidents have had documents that they're not supposed to have and they still have them. Nothing's been done about that, has there? Oh, Lord have mercy on my soul. I think I need to become a preacher. What do y'all think? Think I'd make a good one? Man, I'd go after them bad guys so bad they wouldn't know what hit them. <laughs> I'll be back. God bless you. And you are a blessing.